Now in this slide, we're going to talk about uh, a quite different topic. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, boiling, evaporating, and condensing. We should, when you say, well, let's say you have a solid water, or we call it ice, then you have water also, and you have a, a gas which you could say maybe it can be in the form of a steam let's say we have steam which you know to be gas and we have uh, water which you know to be liquid and we have ice which we know to be solid the substances can change from one form to another form depending on uh, the amount of energy which is applied to it now when uh, when a ice or solid changes to be water we, we call it it we say it melts we say it melts when the water uh, turns to form a uh, form of steam we say it boils or it evaporates we say it boils or it evaporates and also we can have a reverse case where the steam will form uh, water or form liquid in this case we'll say it condenses because it, it converts from being a gas to being a liquid now when the liquid converts to be a solid we will say it freezes so these are ways in which the, the, the we can have a change of state from ice to water to gas and gas to water to ice again so melting boiling evaporating condensing and freezing or all changes of state now when you say a change of state that occurs you must be able to tell me the name of that change of state that occurs and tell me that melt melting is a, is a, is a, is a, is a state where something melts we say it the, the change of state that occurs is called melting where something boils the change of state that occurs is called boiling where something evaporates the change of state that occurs is called evaporation when something uh, condenses, the change of state that occurs is called condensation. Uh, when something freezes, the change of state that occurs is called what is called freezing. So these are changes of states. Now, when liquid uh, changes to gas, we say uh, when a liquid converts to be a gas, we will say it evaporates or it boils. Now we need to understand the differences between boiling and evaporation here. Boiling evaporation occurs. Evaporation. Evaporation it occurs when uh, particles leave the surface of a liquid, and the particles spread out to form a gas. Evaporation can happen at any temperature. This is that it uh, it occurs at any temperature. It occurs at any temperature. It doesn't have a fixed temperature. What the case of boiling? it has a fixed temperature there's a fixed temperature for uh, boiling to occur and also we need to know boiling occur it occurs throughout the world throughout the container it occurs all over the liquid when boiling is occurring all the particles are moving with the same speed that is to say the vibration is occurring at the same time when you eat a beaker uh, of liquid water bubbles of water in the gas state form through the wall through the liquid and the bubbles rise to the surface and escape. The water is boiling. Boiling can only occur or only happen when the water is hot enough for it to occur. Now that's the reason we say that the water has a fixed uh, uh, temperature when it occurs. The point at which it occurs, uh, which is boiling, is called the boiling point of a substance. It's called the boiling point. But evaporation doesn't have an evaporating point. It occurs at any what any temperature. And also when you're trying to measure a boiling point. We need to be able to know that boiling point is a point when you, when you try to boil bo a, 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 a substance, let's say water or whatever it is, and uh, you find out that the temperature was increasing. Maybe you, you let's say you have a beaker, you put in a thermometer. A thermometer is an instrument used to measure the temperature of a substance. Now the thermometer was in, was increasing before the temperature level was increasing, and it got to a time. The time as the time was increasing let's say you have a graph this way let's say you have time here and you have a temperature here 
So let's say you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now when you have one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, as the time increases, the temperature increases. As the time increases, the temperature increases, then you're gonna have a what a slope. Then the time will be reached as the time time is increasing here, the temperature will remain constant at four. If the temperature remains constant at 4, then that tells you that point where the temperature is no more increasing is the boiling point of the uh, liquid. That point at which the temperature stops to increase where the time is increasing is the boiling point of that substance. So this can be known by looking at the thermometer reading. If the reading is constant for, like uh, if you have the reading being constant for uh, 3 to 4 minutes, or three to four or five minutes, we will know that the temperature is now not going to increase further, but the temperature is going to remain the same thing because it has reached the, world, the boiling point of that liquid. Now, when gases uh, convert to liquid, gas uh, gases change to liquid because gas to liquid. We call this process or we call it uh, a condensation, and the reason it occurs is because the particles move very slowly. The particles were moving faster in gas before, but due to the fact that they're trying to, they're losing energy, the particle now start to move slowly. They get closer until they touch each other, so the forces of attraction between the particles are much stronger in the liquid. And uh, that's the reason when the gas becomes a liquid, we call it condensation, and the substance in the gas state condenses when it's cooled to its boiling point or below the boiling point of that substance. And uh, what, we, what we're trying to uh, uh, know much about boiling point and uh, the point which sometimes boils, we should rather go to the lab and use a thermometer to be able to know uh, this perfectly. Okay, now we're going to move to the next uh, slide. We're going to move to the next slide and on this slide, we're going to talk about melting, freezing and subliming. Uh, we should know the word melting. We already said that before. Uh, when we talk about freezing, when something changes from a liquid state to uh, to a solid state, and uh, some uh, there's a, there's a word uh, something we call subliming also. Something sublimes when it changes from uh, a solid state to a gaseous state. I mean, we will talk about that. Now, solid to liquid, and the change of state from solid to liquid is called melting. When something melts, it means the particles move out of the regular pattern. When something is melting, it means the particles are moving out of the regular pattern. The particles start to move around in and out of each other. That means the particles arrangement now changed. The particles arrangements kept changing always, and that's the reason we call it what we say it's melting. The particles touch each other when the substance is a, when the substance is in both solid and and, a, and liquid state, I told you that before, and this is the reason we cannot compress a solid and a liquid. Now uh, we need to know that when you when you have a, a solid, let's say you have ice and it changes to a liquid, that there used to be a, you, when you have a thermometer, or put a thermometer in the ice, and you're trying to know, you're trying to record the reading after every time. If let's say you have a, uh, the time uh, to be here, you have the temperature to be here. As the temperature increases, as the temperature de decreases, and uh, uh, sorry, as the time increases, the temperature will also be increasing. That's going to be a slope for you. But a point will be reached when the time will be increasing and the temperature will, will not increase anymore. At that point, we were going to say that. That thing is what is melting. That's the melting point of that word, of that substance. The substance, uh, the, the point at which you find the word, you find the time increasing, and the temperature is not increasing further. It remains the same thing over, like let's say for over two or three minutes of the time, that we're going to say the melting point is being reached, and that's the reason the substance is not changing into, uh, the temperature is not increasing any further, but the time is increasing. I hope this is really helpful. Uh, thank you very much for listening.